Hey there and welcome to the channel. A short while ago I did a video on light painting on the GoPro Hero 11 and I had a couple of great questions in my comments feed from a couple of my viewers, Chris and Burkan. Thank you for watching and thank you for your comments and both those guys wanted to see a bit of a um, behind the scenes kind of setup of what I did to create that video. So that's what tonight's video is all about. So first of all, I'm out here on the back porch. Uh, I've got my camera, my GoPro Hero 11. It's all set up and it's actually sitting on top of the GoPro Volta and I've got that attached to a tripod. So for this behind the scenes uh, video, I'm gonna show you the uh, implements that we're gonna use tonight. So just like in the first video, we're gonna use a, a torch, sometimes called a flashlight in some parts of the world. I'm also gonna use sparklers because they looked really, really awesome the last time. And I'm also gonna use my Samsung mobile phone or cell phone as well and see how that footage looks uh, when I use it as my light source tonight. Okay, so the first light source we're gonna to use tonight is the little mini torch. As you can see, it's kind of bright, got a little bit of a kick in it. And over here, I have the, um, over here I've got the GoPro Hero 11. So on, on the back of the GoPro, I've got light painting all set up. And all I've got to do now is just press on there. It says hold the camera still. And so what's gonna happen right now, I'm just gonna jump in front of the camera and give me a couple of minutes, and we'll see what we can create. All right, so this time we've made a couple of slight changes. We've changed the shutter speed, and we've changed the tails from short to uh, long tails. And this time I'm gonna be using a different light source as well. So I'm gonna be using my cell phone or mobile phone, and we'll see what kind of um, footage we get from using this with the GoPro Hero uh, Black, with the GoPro Hero 11 Black's awesome feature of light painting. Okay, so for our last demonstration, our last light source tonight, we're going to use this little sparkler. The sparkler looked pretty fantastic last time we did light painting, and I'm just gonna light it and record and uh, make some crazy actions for a couple of minutes, and we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna try a slightly different tack when it comes to lighting the sparklers uh, tonight. This is the number of uh, matches I've gone through so far. There's a slight breeze, and every time I try to light a match, they go out. But I've actually uh, come across one of these little bad boys here, and from now on, I won't have any more issues again, hopefully when it comes to light and sparklers. Let's go. All right, so the rain's kicked in, but I'm gonna try one more time uh, with the sparkler. This time, we're out in the back porch, and we're gonna be shooting with 100 ISO, and we're gonna see how that one looks. Hopefully I don't get soaked in the process, here we go. So as you can see, light painting can be heaps and heaps of fun and you can create lots of different images by just changing some of the settings and the light sources like we did tonight. If you've got any questions about light painting or anything else to do with GoPros, hit me up in the comment section down below just like Chris and Birkin did and I'm happy to do my best to answer your questions. As usual, thanks for your company and I'll see you in the next video.